Hey there, Leo. Welcome to your reading for March 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for uh, March 2019 for all Leos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like to get a personal look into your own situation, i.e. a personal reading, go ahead and email me. You can check out the, situ uh, the description box below. It has all of the information that you need, including my email address and the readings that I offer, yeah? If you would like to go ahead and follow me on Instagram, please go ahead and do so at divine underscore conversations. You can also find me on Facebook at divine conversations 2711, yeah? So again, this is a general reading. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. We're doing things a little bit differently here. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. It's very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up guys? But other than me just recording this so that you can have uh, like see my face and we can have like a, con a conversation about this, I am actually going to be starting with the Oracle cards, okay? I'm gonna pull one card from the, universe, uh, the Unicorn Oracle deck just to get a general theme of your month for the reading, and then we're going to go into the regular freestyle reading with the Golden Universal Tarot, yeah? So, let's get to it, guys. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Leos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for March 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, so Leo, like getting straight into it, I'm feeling very, very warm in channeling your energy. Um, that could be my, you know, my angels and my guides surrounding me, but it just feels like your energy, Leo. Um, I just feel like you're very warm and secure happy and healthy in your home life, whether that's on your own or with your family. To be honest, it feels very similar to the Cancerian energy that I just did. I just did the reading for. Um, very secure in yourself, uh, loving yourself, honoring yourself for who you are, and not being afraid to shine your light. It's quite beautiful, Leo. Let's see what we've got for you here. One more shuffle. And then we will get your energy red yeah here we go leo sun moon rising and venus for the month of march 2019 spirit what do you have for us here magic yes leo that is beautiful where's it oh here it is magic make a wish believe in miracles magic surrounds you yes Magic surrounds you, um, and I just feel like you're you're aware of this, and this is what's helping you feel very secure in yourself, very grounded, safe, and stable. Uh, maybe even whimsical, you know, dreamy. Um, the fact that you are aware of that this magic is around you and how it actually works is putting you in a very maybe childlike. Uh, sense of wonder. Um, you may really be try just dreaming about what it is you want to do and allowing the universe to facilitate that for you. This is beautiful. You're feeling very magical this month, Leo. You probably can get a lot done. This really could be a very strong month um, of manifestation for you, Leo. This is, wow, this is great. This is great already. All right, one more shuffle, Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And let's see. For some of you specifically, I'm picking up that you're going to be in a really good stage or a boop state to um, manifest a new relationship. Seven of Cups. Now, this is good to overall. This does feel good because, like I said, you're in this dreamy state. You're in this, this, this energy where you really be do believe that anything um, is possible. Uh, this could be a month in which that kind of sets in, okay, for you, the, the belief and the understanding that anything is possible. And now that opens you up to infinite possibilities. And I know this is just, there are just seven cups on this card, but that's the, that's the, that's, that, that's what the seven of cups represents. The options, the, 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 you know, the different ways of something happening. And that really could be an, uh, um, infinite, you know, and seven is a, a number of magic, of mystery, of divine wisdom. And so I really do feel like you're connecting with the wisdom of the universe um, in, in, uh, over the course of this month, which again is opening up the, the doors of possibility for you, okay? You have the two of swords though. Ooh, with strength. So here you are, Leo, showing up in your reading here. And death. Mm, Scorpio energy. Now, I I love death. 
I mean, I'm not a morbid person. I'm not, I don't identify as like gothic or anything, but I personally really appreciate what death represents. Death represents change, transition, uh, cha a transition from one state of being to another, okay? And so that brings in a whole new horizon. The Two of Swords coming out lately, really, I ha I've been getting the same energy over and over for this Two of Swords, and it's not the typical one. To me, it's an energy of mental balance, and in, and with that, it's been an energy of not really allowing the illusions around you or the options around you to change or affect your that that mental balance that you may have been working on uh, achieving or that you may have achieved, uh, which can be seen in uh, or interpreted through the image of this woman being blindfolded. Okay, very much going within and using your, her intuition to guide her instead of what her physical eyes may see in the external world. Um, and that's kind of what I'm seeing here. And it's, it's more about, well, I should say it this way. It's less about focusing on the external opportunities and more focusing on the internal opportunities. And this, at this strength energy here is the restraint, is the focus, is the grounding that you would need to um, focus on the inner reality and put more weight on the inner reality or more... Um, value or meaning on the inner reality versus the external reality because it's the inner reality that gives rise to what you experience on the external. So that's the transformation here that I'm seeing in death. It's the shift of consciousness from focused on the external back in to the internal and keeping your mental focus in check here um, regardless of what might be going on in the external because you're working on fixing and healing things from the inside. You're working with the magic of the universe rather than just the physical tools you may have in this 3D realm that you may have focused so heavily on in the past, okay? That's beautiful, Leo. So getting into the first um, set of energies. Now, I have been... Um, classifying or identi or, or yeah classifying this as the beginning of your month and then the end of your month but it doesn't have to be that way okay take it as it resonates the energy is uh, energy is fluid it can be going all around in different places just piece it wherever it goes for you all right but for me for a way of keeping a little bit of order and keeping us from getting too confused i am going to say the beginning of your month and the end of your month so starting with the beginning of your month first set of surrounding energies for you leo we have the devil. This is so funny because the devil came out for cancer and I just did that reading. You might want to go check that out um, because again, like I said, I'm feeling a very similar energy for you as I did for cancer. And actually the strength card and the two of swords came out for cancer too. So this might be, I know for me, this makes sense because I, in Eastern astrology, I have a cancer moon and a Leo rising. So there's probably going to be some, yeah, that's definitely how it, you know, this definitely would resonate for me just as an example. So go ahead and check that out. But, um, oh shoot, <laughs> I've totally lost my train of thought now. The devil, what does the, the devil is representing? Oh man, I totally lost my train of thought, you guys. I'm so sorry. But basically the devil here represents um, the opposition, okay, the fear. This could be a Capricorn energy. You could have Capricorn in your chart. Um, but it's everything that you have focused or, or experienced in the past that has that has maybe has held you back. This is the energy. These are the energies that you that you have overcome here, that you are in the process of overcoming. The devil is coupled with the four of swords. Excellent. I do feel like some of you are in a process of like analyzing um, some of the experiences that you may have come out of that are represented by the devil here, codependency, toxicity, addiction, this, that, and the, and the third, narcissism. Um, but it's like a rest. I, I really do feel like you're in some sort of a restful period right now after dealing with some sort of devilish energy or overcoming some sort of toxic situation or addiction. Okay. That's beautiful. Second set of surrounding energies for you. 
uh, Leo, we have the Three of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles is talking about entrepreneurship. Some of you may be um, very much in a dreamer energy when it comes to what kind of business you want to start, what kind of direction you want to move in career-wise. Um, it also is the energies of working on self-mastery, building yourself up, especially after coming out of the, any sort of devilish energy that you might have faced in the past. Three of Pentacles is coupled with, yes, the Ace of Wands. So brand new um, direction, brand new inspiration, brand new insights. This could also be a re-sparking or a new spark in terms of spirituality and how you want to express yourself in a spiritual manner, who you are as a spiritual being, coming to terms with that, learning, working on understanding that. Excellent, Leo. Your challenge in the first half of your month, you have the fool. That's really interesting. Embarking and starting on a new journey, going in a new direction. And okay, I, I totally understand why this would be a challenge because in this dreamer-like energy, in this space and time of being um, faced with all these different new options and new ways, to new directions to move in, the challenge here is choosing one to go on, to choosing, a, choosing a, a, a path to take a leap of faith towards. But this feels good. This feels exciting. It doesn't feel overbearing. It doesn't feel like you have to make a decision or something like that. I do feel like you're kind of excited to go in a new direction. It's just the challenge here is just to nail something down and go with it. So take your time here. Use this energy of the three of pentacles in self-mastery or maybe even an entrepreneurship energy to, de to generate the, the choice, the idea, where you want to go, okay? Uh, the fool is coupled with... The Page of Pentacles. Yeah, you really are starting a brand new manifestation for yourself, Leo. The Page of Pentacles, to me, talks about a level up in the physical realms, okay? So um, starting, uh, 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 entering a new energetic field in which now you are integrating that into your physical life. There could be someone that has a message for you. So in terms of business partnerships, if you could be potentially starting to work with someone new, um, the it's only a challenge here because it's just getting it off the ground. It's only a challenge because it's, it's brand new. And so there may be some things you have to learn, um, whether that be the process of this venture, this creative project, this entrepreneurship endeavor, this teamwork endeavor, um, learning about you know, learning the ins and outs of this specific situation so that you can be more successful in the, in the moving forward. This doesn't feel like a bad challenge. It's just, it's just a challenge that comes with starting something new. That's all, okay? And that's beautiful. Your closing message or potential outcome for the first half of your month, you have, yes, the Knight of Pentacles. Slow and steady wins the race. Building up on this new venture. Um, building it day by day, inch by inch, mile by mile by mile, piece by piece. That's a beautiful, beautiful energy. And that it actually could be the advice when it comes to um, uh, starting on this new path. Take it slowly. Take it day by day, instance by instance. You don't have to, uh, you don't have to tackle everything at once, okay? The Knight of Pentacles is coupled with... Wow, the Knight of Cups. That's so funny because it came the Knight of Pentacles came out with the Knight of Cups. Knight, excuse me, the Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups came out for Cancer, I believe. In the challenge section of the second half of the month. That is really interesting. And it came out that same way. The Knight of Pentacles came out first. The Knight of Cups came out first. Um, but and the Knight of Cups is coming out all over the place, you guys. And it's all because of collectively we're going through this heart chakra awakening. It's the, it's the cosmic heart awakening, right? So this is... Um, Putting, investing your all into it, really, for you, Leo. Um, doing the physical work and the emotional work um, in maintaining the emotional connection between you and, and your business associates or your audience or customers. Um, really, I'm, I'm feeling like really showing your stuff. Showing people what you're made of or showing your audience or your customers what this business is made of, what this business stands for. Being really open and present and honest and um, compassionate in your entrepreneurship endeavor endeavors. That's really beautiful, Leo. I love it. Okay. For the second half of your month here, 
first set of surrounding energies, you have, wow, the tower. Okay. Now, the second half of the month could be a little challenging. You might run into a, um, a setback, but that setback is not actually a setback. It's actually um, setting you up for greater success in the future. It just may be something you weren't expecting. And that actually could be a good thing. Something could come through that you weren't expecting. Um, that actually doesn't feel bad when it happens. You know what I mean? Uh, this is Scorpio energy. But honestly, whatever is torn down at this point is only leaving you space to create something better in its place, okay? That is basically the ultimate energy or lesson in the tower. Um, the tower is destructive, but it's just as creative as it is destructive, okay? The tower is coupled with satisfaction, the nine of cups. Uh, this might be... To be quite honest with you, Leo, this might be something that you've been wanting to do away with for a long time. Or ultimately, whatever is destroyed with this tower energy sets you up for greater satisfaction to begin with. I just feel that this does, I'm not going to lie, Leo, this does feel kind of smug. And this might be a situation where someone else gets their comeuppance and you're just kind of like, mm-hmm, sips tea, mm-hmm. Oh no, who knew that was gonna happen? Not little old me, but don't you worry about it. It's none of my business, that kind of energy, you know? <laughs> you know what I mean? Now, <coughs> excuse me, on the flip side, Leo, you might be the one going through this kind of tower-like energy and someone else around you is kind of like, I told you so, maybe you should listen to me next time. Who knows? This is a general reading, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't, right? Second set of surrounding energies, Leo, you've got the Wheel of Fortune. Change for the better. <clears throat> so even if this tower situation that comes through really rocks your world and really is something that is not pleasant and you were not expecting and you don't want to have to deal with, <clears throat> in the long run, it's going to lead to satisfaction and it's actually a turn for the better with the Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune is coupled with, yes, the Ten of Wands. Why is this a turn for the better? Because it's setting you up to release burdens that you shouldn't have been carrying to begin with. I mean, don't shoot the messenger, y'all. <laughs> okay, the challenge for your second half of your month, you got... The Eight of Pentacles, I'm not sorry, not the Eight of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups, you got to walk away from something. Now, this could be what the tower situation is setting you up for. Maybe you were in a relationship with someone, maybe it was a business par partnership, maybe it was a romantic situation, but ultimately, you've got to walk away from this. And I don't feel like this is, the challenge here is actually deciding to walk away. I feel like the challenge here is actually the undertaking of walking away, okay? Eight of Cups is coupled with the sun. This is more of your energy, Leo. Cancer and Leo showed up in their reading. Now, also, Cancer got the sun and the moon in their reading. You might want to check out the Cancer reading again. That might resonate with you. Um, but what I do feel like here is even though you might be challenged with walking away, I do feel like everything is going to be okay for you. And I feel like there's going to be a, a hell of a lot of illumination to really help you move forward, to help you make the best decisions moving forward, to help you understand how to move forward, maybe even why you need to move forward, okay? But that feels really good, Leo. I mean, this all feels really good. Now, also, this could be someone walking away from you, Leo, all right? You, I mean, you could be this devilish character here. Just saying. I mean, it's, it's a general reading, yeah? Your closing message or potential outcome for the second half of your month, you've got a new start. Ace of Pentacles. I am seeing that for some of you, you could be... It, you, I feel like, so with the challenge here being the fool in the first half of your month with the page of pentacles, I feel like this tower moment that's upcoming for you really could be that catalyst to help you choose or yeah, help you choose which way to go with the seven of cups energy and your overall energy, this illusion 
not illusion, excuse me, um, the, the all the different options or possibilities that are out there, there is a tower moment that is going to help you make a decision and it's going to help you get on a path to make your dreams come true because the Nine of Cups is about um, wish fulfillment also, but it's also about satisfaction. So there might be a sudden realization, something that suddenly happens or whatever, a sudden event that's going to help you choose and is going to help you walk away in some way, which is then going to lead you to a brand new beginning with the Ace of Pentacles, all right? Uh, uh, Ace of Pentacles is coupled with, yeah, the Nine of Wands. You're going to have to persevere a little bit, but I also feel like this is of having a new start after persevering for a long time because you do have this 10 of wands here. Also, keep in mind, look at this. This is a 10-10 energy. The Wheel of Fortune is a 10. The, the 10 of wands is a 10. This is completion. Major, major, major completion for some of you, okay? And you're going to be able to let your guard down. You're going to be able to stop fighting so hard, stop going against the grain, and start something new that is much more in the flow. Okay, Leo? So there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. Again, if you would like a look into your per own personal situation, don't hesitate to send me an email. Check out the description box below where you will find all of the information. I hope you guys have a great month and I look forward to connecting with you again for the month of April. Yeah, take care. Mwah! Bye.